All right, so this is a headlight on my 2014 BMW 328. I installed the uh, um, aftermarket headlights with HID conversion. There's the ballast. The problem I had is um, one of the bulbs went out, I think, but I'm not sure if it was the bulb or the ballast. And when I was troubleshooting, it created a little bit of a bigger issue. So this wire, it goes into the ballast. Gets threaded down here. Let's see if it gets on later. Now the issue is that what I didn't realize that this plug sorry, I can't see here. This plug inside of this housing. Can't really see it. Let's see. There you go. So that's your 12 volt. And this is basically just an H7 type plug and by h7 i mean h7 bulb if i had an h7 bulb in here um, this would just plug right back in the bulb but what they did is i paid extra for the hid kit so then they have this plug which comes out through the wires goes up to here into the ballast and then back out of the ballast um, to these two wires which are the bulb which is the hid bulb here in the car Problem is one went out. Um, these are 55 watt ballasts. I don't know if it's good or bad. And I have auto headlights on my car. So they flick, um, they'll turn on and off, which is not good for uh, HID bulbs. So like pulling into the garage, even during the day, they turn on just for a second, then you kill a car. So I'm pretty sure I just killed the bulb. Um, but the big thing is this plug is, you have to have the right polarity. So when I plugged it back in, trying to troubleshoot, I didn't have the negative to the negative. So then I thought both things went out. That's not the case. I'm just gonna put in some H7 bulbs. All right, so now you can see um, that wire with the blue and the black. I have a regular H7 bulb in there now. And that's the 12 volt supply. And I'm just going back to the regular halogen bulb. Um, they're about $32. They're a little bit whiter in color than the standard halogen, but obviously not as white as the HID bulbs. Now this cover in the back, they had just cut a hole in the back and this cover slides on here. And I'm just gonna put some um, Gorilla tape on that for now, probably on the inside and outside to keep it dry. All right, so I Brought this bulb over. Um, this bulb was just working on the other side. So I brought this bulb over to this side and let the ballast hooked up and plugged in. And it still doesn't work. Um, so if I fix the polarity, so again, this is a good bulb and still no. So that tells me that this ballast is bad, which makes me glad I bought the regular halogen bulbs because it's not just a quick bulb replacement. I actually have to buy new ballasts and to get the proper 35 watt ballasts for this car, um, you're looking at probably 60 or $80. So this kind of reinforces my idea. I'm just going to probably stay with the H7 halogen bulbs. I'll bench test these uh, ballasts here in a couple minutes and show you. All right, the seal of the hole, two layers of Gorilla Tape. Um, that's gonna be good for now. And I'm probably just gonna leave these and not mess with HID anymore. And then there you can see the just H7 plug. The little notch goes on the bottom. Make sure you don't get it in upside down. The little brackets, it just, this just slides in. It's just a slight turn that little slot slides into there. Now that should be watertight. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to run through this test because I couldn't see a lot online regarding this. So, what we've got here again, this plug is an H7 plug. It came out of the headlight housing. So, instead of um, the 12 volts from the headlight housing going straight into an H7 halogen bulb. 
this aftermarket HID kit and the H7 plug, this is, was a 12 volt power. So this is 12 volt power that would normally come from your car. Now what I did is I just rigged this um, black goes to negative on here and then the red goes to positive. So make sure you get that right because these ballasts are uh, polarity sensitive. So I just uh, rigged a couple temporary wires with some spade connectors. So this is my 12 volt going in. Um, ignore this rubber boot. Those wires come to here. And now th this is where you get into the standard HID conversion. All these plugs would be standard with all the HID kits as far as I know. So this goes in the ballast and it converts your 12 volt to a lot more volts and also has a computer um, controlled um, system in there for uh, a lot of the German cars that have flickering issues and stuff. So this is one of the better ones, but I think it's a 55 watt, um, which caused me some issues. Um, I can't remember what this is. It's either the uh, air canceller or a little resistor, but anyway, it comes from here. Now this goes into, again, standard HID bulbs, the red and the black. It goes through this little rubber housing and goes to this bulb. So I know this balance was good on the left um, on the car. And when I come over here and I turn the power on, we get power. So there's 12.9 volts and we have a good bulb. So now we're gonna test the other bulb. Again, these are kind of made because of these rubber grommets, but again, disconnected this bulb. Now this was the bulb on the side that went out and you can see I saw the same ballast just into this plug. Ignore this, this is just that wire lead for that side and this goes to this bulb. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Let's see. It does work. So both of my balls were good. Um, and what tells me is that this other ballast I have is bad. So I'm gonna hook up that other ballast and we'll see if that is the issue. But that makes me feel better because it wasn't just a quick bulb fix. I would actually have to get new ballast. So if I had to try to cheap out and just get new bulbs, I would have plugged them in and I still wouldn't have had the headlights. So again, the H7 halogen back to the halogen conversion is done. The car is functional, the headlights work. I shouldn't have any other issues. I'm just testing this out from my own knowledge. Um, and I know that these ballasts are basically not any good. All right, I'm back. So this is the other ballast, which I suspect is bad. I don't know for a fact, but again, the power coming in to the ballast through the canceller into the bulb, this was the bulb on the left side. They both obviously tested good. This is all separate, so ignore this system here. All right, I didn't mess with the power, so let's see if this works. And we've got nothing. So this ballast is definitely bad. So this looks like a 70 or $80 fix if I wanna get the computer controlled ballasts. I think I'll just leave them as halogen bulbs and then not mess with any of this stuff. All right guys, thanks, hope this helps. All right, real quick, um, <clears throat> this is a bad ballast. I just opened it up to see if I could see like a burnt uh, resistor or something, but this is all just rubber coated. Actually looks pretty well built. Looks watertight. I don't smell any uh, smoke or see any signs of anything that went bad, so I'm not really sure what happened with this ballast, but if you're curious what the inside of the ballast looks like, um, this is it. Again, thanks for watching.